I've also always been a Pokemon fan since I was like in kindergarten. The card game's bigger than it's ever been. Catalyst for the current market, it's a combination of Logan Paul and other YouTubers making videos that got the kids excited. COVID, which kept people at home and bored. They wanted to collect something. And I think just a few cards sold for a lot of money and people saw that and it just kind of ballooned. The 25 year anniversary, is that right? Oh, God. Yeah, and you could call, and it's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Uh, this year, Katy Perry made a song about Pokemon. Post Malone made a Pokemon song. It's just hype all around. In this box, there's the Marnie card. It's like a... Oh, yeah, that girl. She's and that one card sells for like $1,200. I made more in five months than I'll make in two years at my 40 hour a week job. I want to be done with all work when I'm 40. It'll happen. What's going on, Bruce? Welcome to Hottest Cards of the Week, the weekly series where every Friday night I give you the hottest. Pokemon cards of the week. That's right. Every Friday night, here we are. We're on like month eight or nine. It feels like I've been doing this forever. Uh, just quick, uh, two two things I need to cover right off the bat, and then we're gonna get into hottest cards of the week. I do put chapters in all this because I do tend to have long intros and talk a lot, which means to make up for it, the least I can do is put chapters in the videos for you guys. Okay, but Pokeyeni, I gotta talk about him for a sec, and then we're gonna talk about the new. Moonbrion, because let's be honest, there is a lot of confusion as to what we're even looking at when we look at that artwork, and there's a little confusion as to what we are going to call that card, because we, we're not going to call it the new Moonbrion. We're not going to call it Moonbrion 2.0. That'd be stupid. It has to have its own unique nickname. So we're going to put that to bed here in a sec. But Pokey and E. My best friend, Brian. My, yeah, yeah, he's... He, Brian and I used to talk every night, literally, all night long, not during the day, he's not awake, he's not alive, he comes out at night, and he goes right to the basement, and he stays there, but, but he does what he does, he's, he's a night, he's a night thing, he's a night creature, but again, him and I have been best friends for so long, and up until a week ago, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, Brian's been on a little bit of a world tour, a little bit of a Basically, every Pokemon content creator that does a live that has guests on um, has had Brian on in the last 10 days. And um, uh, up until about, you know, a week ago, um, anytime I wanted to talk to Brian, and anytime I was like, hey, Brian, can you send me something so I can open it and give it away to you guys? Um, he's instantly, yeah, yeah, sure, man, bro, here, uh, take this, take that, give it away, heck yeah, blah, 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 instantly. Great guy, fantastic guy, Johnny Bravo hairstyle, amazing, all right? So... But then now he goes on this world tour. He's super famous again. And, and, and it, basically over the last week, he hadn't responded to any, any of my, my DMs. And, um, you know, I started to feel pretty sad. And I'm just saying, if any of you want to get a hold of Brian <clears throat> and he's not returning your DMs or your messages at all, um, all you have to do to get him to respond instantly um, is uh, post a, a photo of him on social media with his his shirt off. Instantaneous response. And guess what, guys? We are now getting a Terrastal Festival booster box for me to open and give away the hits to you guys. So look forward to that. And thank you, Brian Pokeyeni. Great guy. Okay, so, and then the new Moonbrion. So, uh, quick science lesson for those of you who are confused. So for everyone who thinks this is a moon uh, on the card, a Moonbrion card, you're, you're right. Um, but for those of you that think this is a sun on the card, a, a Sunbrion card, you are also right, but you're also both wrong. Because what you have occurring here is what it, we like to call a solar eclipse. Yeah, so when two t uh, terrestrial bodies cross paths in front of each other um, and eclipse, um, from certain uh, points of view, such as from Earth, the light is obfuscated and uh, re re reflect refracted, um, causing it to be nighttime in the middle of the day for a certain amount of time. Um, and so what you're seeing is an Umbreon that is out in the middle of the day in broad daylight, only it is nighttime. Why? Because there is a solar eclipse. So. Um, seeing as how I have uh, coined the phrases Obsidian Lame, Shredded Fumble, Stellar Frown, Splurging Sparks, Chonky Boy, uh, Greedy Ninja, um, you know, I just, I'm taking it upon myself to state the obvious. We already have Sunzard, so we're not going to call this Sunbrion. 
but we do have a moon and sun, a sun and moon Umbreon. So, and given the color pattern, it's very solstice heavy. There is a soul, a sun, so... Soul Breon. Which card will be worth more? Moon Breon versus Soul Breon. So there you go. All right, let's get into hottest cards of the week. What? All right, before we begin, just a quick reminder in case you missed it. Last week was the end of year special since Surging Sparks has came out. Uh, it's called Hottest Cards of the Year. If you haven't seen that, check that out. The video did pretty darn well. And all 30 of those cards that were on Hottest Cards of the Year are going to be here in today's video. The difference is the ones that are up week after week, aka up again this week, you're going to see right here and now. Whereas the ones that moved sideways or went down in value from Hottest Cards of the Year last week, they will be at the, uh, the recap speed run at the end of today's video. Alright, so here we go. So Moonbreon, one of the hottest cards of the year from last week. Moonbreon is now up to almost $1,400. $1,388, guys. <clears throat> we have a lot of cards to cover, so once again, I'm not going to go too deep into any of this. Just know we are in Hype Central, so if you're looking as to reasons why a lot of these cards are up week after week, uh, just Hype. Hype is your answer. Okay, so... Moonbreon, almost $1,400, up 36% on the one month. Gengar, I almost wore a Gengar shirt today. Gengar VMAX from Fusion Strike is $385, about 20% on the one month. Let's see if we can see the pop and fizzle real quick. So you can see it hit a high of 410 and went as low as 300. Now it's back up to 385. So Gengar is having one hell of a year. Gengar, Charizard, finally this guy is doing nice things and it's up two three four weeks in a row let's be honest it's up to 160 dollars charizard v from brilliant stars brilliant charizard alt art with the venusaur cameo very underrated venusaur cameo if you want to see the one year real quick let's woo hit just barely not even 200 but it's reclaimed over half of that and is strongly up trending Ladias EX SIR. This was also on the top 30 of the year, even though it just came out. Guess what, guys? So last week it was about $202, and now, at least when I recorded last week's hottest cards of the year, it was at $202, and now it is at $207. So at a time when a card like this should probably be dropping heavily in price, it is comfortably back over the $200 mark. All right, let's move it on. Greedy Ninja. Greedy Ninja is higher than ever at an all-time high at $328.94, guys. It's 3x since release, essentially. Yeah, 3x. Since release, nothing but uptrend since this card has came out. The worst it fell was down to 260 before it bounced right back up over $300. Now, guys, here's the big surprise. I would, there's a few, there's a lot of surprises in the video, in the upload today, but here is, ugh, yeah, 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 Mew. Speaking of cracking $200, Mew EX SR Haldane Fates is now a $200 Pokemon card. I think I might have mentioned last week that it probably, it looked, it, yeah, it was so obvious last week that it was well on its way to 200 bucks. I think I might have even said it'll probably be 200 this week. Um, and yeah, it's two, two, up 40% on the month. Up 40% on the month, guys. Look at that. $90 for the longest time. Bubble Mew just floated away to the moon. It's not even here anymore. It, it's not even on this card. It's way up in space. That bubble is just floating in outer space right now. 200 bucks. Raging Bolt, the best card from Temporal Forces. Look at that one month chart from 70 to 90. Let's pull it way back. So our high, once the playability was discovered and everyone needed a copy, it hit 100. And now we're at 90. Let's pull it back just a little. But on your one month, we're from 72 all the way up to $90 Raging Bolt. People don't like the Pokemon, but they sure love the card. Melodic. Melodic, God, I love this card. It's one of the few remaining cards I need from this set. I, I had it, and the guy sold it. Christian. All right, so anyway, uh, Melodic. 
Melodic, actually, so Melodic, same thing as Latias EXSAR. It's done very well since release. It dropped down to 80, and now it's up to 88, almost $90. Don't even pay attention to that percentage that says 11. It is done very well. It held strong, and now it's gone up 10 bucks since release. The other fish, Magikarp. So, Magi, Magi, Magi. Um, yeah, so it's at an all-time high. We talked about this last week, but it's at an all-time higher. Yeah. $162 now, guys. So here's your three-month chart. In the last three months, it did tap 105. That's as low as it went. So it went from 150 to 105, and now it's at 160. So here's your 150. There's your 104. And now 162. So illustration rares seem to be here to stay. I mean, we are. I mean, I, I've been saying that for a while. But yeah, so Magikarp is at an all-time high. Paldeer evolved. Eevee from TWM, the best, greatest uh, supporter set of all time. With beautiful Eevee, it is up 17% on the one month, and it is now up to $56. And let's zoom out. Let's zoom this chart out just a little bit for you guys, because it's high with $61. But look at the higher lows that you see there. Higher low, higher low, higher low. It is reclaiming all of that lost value and it is clearly looks like it's going right back up to sixty dollars for it yet latios also on the 30th hardest cards of the year even though it just came out so we're not looking at that we're looking at forty dollars to forty three or forty four dollars you will notice that a lot of the other irs in this set have plummeted quite a bit or at the very least not gone up what has Latios done? Latios has gone up four bucks. So Latios holding a very strong from Splurging Sparks. Okay, guys, now look, before I show you the next card, not last week, because last week was the, the hottest cards of the year special, but the week before last week, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, for those of you that actually watched the whole video, okay, the whole upload, the best deal banger at the end of every episode for three straight weeks. What did I say? I said any Pokemon Center stamped ETB promo under $20. That was the best deal banger for three weeks in a row. Mimikyu. Pokemon Center stamped ETB promo is $38.28. Two weeks ago, it was $12, $15, $16. So, oh, I'm sorry, it's it's $40. $40. Mimikyu is $40, that was the three month. Here it is. So guys, two weeks ago, I told you, I'm sorry for rubbing it in, but I did say two weeks ago, any Pokemon Center stamp promo that you guys can find under $20, I do not make predictions. I do not make suggestions lightly. I try. I know it's a lot of responsibility doing this, okay? That's why I usually keep it to just the best deal banger. But when I do make proclamations or suggestions or when I actually kind of put my reputation on the line and say, do this, I think it's a really good idea. It's because I strongly believe in it. And the next several cards are all cards that were under $20 a couple weeks ago. And yeah, so Noctowl... Here we go. Here it is. Here's another $20 stamped ETB TV promo that is now $36.16, up 76% on the one month chart. There you go. And uh, just remember this, by the way, because today's best deal banger is going to correlate very strongly to this Noctowl promo. $36 for the stamped Pokemon Center ETB Noctowl promo. And again, Mimikyu, same thing. Just a couple weeks ago was $12, $15, and it's now $40. Okay, now, Mariadon. Mariadon is now up to, this was not $20 a week or two ago, this was at 30 something. But it is now up to over $40, up 35% on the one month. It is $41.57 for Mariadon from Scarlet and Violet base set. You know what else was from Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, Coriadon. So Coriadon now is also up about 20% on the one month, up to $38.26. Not quite 40, but uh, let's check back next week. 
Okay. Now, guys, the next four cards also fit that same best deal banger criteria. And again, I'm only telling you this because I know it would be foolish of me to constantly make suggestions to you like, hey, you should buy this because there's no benefit as me, the content creator. If I'm right, I'm right. Who cares? But if I'm wrong, now I have a viewer who's pissed off at me. So I only make suggestions when I truly believe in it. And all three of these cards, again, were the best deal bangers for three straight weeks. Petrant on the one month up from 18 is now $25. That's a 41% increase. That, again, is another Pokemon Center stamped exclusive ETB promo. There you go. $26. Essentially, for Petrant, that was from the Twilight Masquerade ETB. Screamtail. Now, Screamtail was $15, $16 a couple weeks ago. Screamtail is now up 50% on the one month and is $24 and 22 cents. That is a Paradox Rift Pokemon Center stamp promo. Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is now $23.74, up 32.70% on the one month from about $17. We can go out a little farther. This was a $9 promo in september same with the screamtail same with the petrant they were less than ten dollars a month later they are all north of twenty dollars here's another one guys go to the one month this was a 16 dollar card just a couple weeks ago it is now just barely cracked over the twenty dollar that is the twilight masquerade and that brings us to today's best deal banger and for the first time ever the best deal banger is not a card, but it is a sealed product. That's right, the guy who never talks about sealed is suggesting a best deal banger. And here it is. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video saying uh, what are the three most absolute best sealed products that you can buy right now from your couch without buying from a scalper, without buying from anyone sketchy, without overpaying or you know being charged extra. And that was specifically these three Pokemon Center ETB exclusive boxes that are still in stock. These three, Twilight Masquerade, Stellar Crown, Shredded Fumble, Shrouded Fable, sorry. Now, what did we just look at a minute ago? Knock Towel, Stellar Crown. It is $36.16. The box itself is $60. So essentially what I'm saying is you can get 11 packs of Stellar Crown for like 20 bucks. So the best deal banger today is the Stellar Crown Pokemon Center ETB. All right, now let's get into the uh, recap speed run from last week. All right, here we go. So last week's recap speed run, these are basically the remaining 30 hottest cards of the year that either went sideways or went down in price that were not part of the hottest cards of the week this week, along with those other cards, those promos that we threw in there. So here we go. Rayquaza VMAX Altar from Evolving Skies. It was 467 last week. It is moved sideways and it is 467 this week. Giratina V Altar from Lost Origin. 389 last week, moved sideways, 387 this week. Glaceon VMAX Altar from Evolving Skies was 235 last week, up just a little to 236 this week. Pikachu EX SIR from Splurging Sparks is down, way down, 516 to 461. I don't think that should be that surprising. Charizard EX SIR from Scarlet and Violet 151, aka Chonky Boy, aka Sunzard, is exactly sideways, 197 to 197. Charizard EX SIR from Palais and Fates, not doing near as well as Bubble Mew, but still doing very good. Uh, it's 145, moves sideways, 143. Tropagos, pronounced like Galapagos. Get it right, TCA Gaming. Why did you even ask that question on Instagram? It is 94 last week, it is 83 this week, down even more. I'm gonna buy this card once it hits the 70s, and then I will be master setted with a stellar crown walking wake not doing as good as raging bull that moved sideways 59 dollars and to 58 dollars go out on the chase card from paradox rift it is 65 to 63 sideways basically squirtle ir from stellar crown 47 up just a little to 48 bulbasaur ir from stellar crown down just a little from 44 down to 42 tyranitar the same exact thing from Paladar evolved went from 44 to 42 
Pikachu Grey Fell Hat promo, uh, the dumbest card ever created by Pokemon and the most irresponsible release of all time, 170. That is not a knock on the artwork. That is a knock on the Pokemon company for mishandling that release in so many goddamn ways. Uh, 176 to 177. Snorlax Pokemon Center ETB promo, the most expensive stamp promo of the Scarlet and Violet era it is now up just a little. I, I guess it's green. 102, I could have made that yellow. Squirtle 151, the UPC uh, PC promo. This is not an ETB. This was the UPC pre-release uh, promo. It's sideways, 88 bucks from 87. Charmander PC ETB promo from Obsidian Lanes, $82 sideways uh, from 80 to 82. Pikachu, the uh, Paldea Evolved stamp promo, 61 up just a little to 62. Carbine SIR from Twilight Masquerade, down quite a bit to 63. Lucia's Appeal SIR, down a little bit to 62. Pikachu EX Hyper Rare from Splurging Sparks, the Hyper Rare of a Generation, uh, down under 100. I got a. I, I don't see, I see this card going right back up over 100. People love this Hyper Rare, and yeah. So if you bought, if you spent a lot on Pikachu Hyper Rare, I wouldn't be too worried. People love this card, and it is so hard to pull. Like, don't worry about Pikachu Hyper Rare. In my opinion, it's just my opinion. It's not a prediction. That one's an opinion. All right, that's all I got for uh, this week. Um, guys, I just want to thank you guys again. Uh, I started this year with like 600 subs, and um, you know, last year I was some dude named Poka Dan, and I became Mimic Brew this year, and you know, I'm up to like 3,300 subs. I'm getting w uh, way more views than I ever thought I would get basically every video I post. I really appreciate the hell out of you guys. And uh, something I never talk about is um, channel memberships. I literally don't think I've ever mentioned channel memberships ever like out loud on a, on a video uh but i just checked and i have like eight or nine channel members all paying me a dollar 99 a month and i didn't even ask so i'm just gonna throw those people up real quick and i just want to say thank you to you guys you guys give me money even though i never asked for it which is insane so yeah thank you and uh side note I'm going to make a video here at the end of the year talking about goals and how you can use goals to accomplish a lot in the Pokemon TCG community. Uh, regardless of what your goals are, using goals and time frames, um, you can get a lot done. And a goal for me is to hit 4,000 subs by the end of the year. So if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a Pokemon TCG content creator with under 5,000 subs that can give you as much value as I do, especially in these raw card weekly Friday night videos. Um, and I'm always trying to give the best, most accurate takes that I can, not just complete BS. So please subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Deuces.